This video demonstrates how to operate the PAR 1341 plain jacket bond calorimeter in the Experimental Design 1 laboratory. Data obtained from the bond calorimeter can be used to calculate the heat of combustion of a substance, which can then be compared with theoretical values to test accuracy. Before entering the laboratory, grab a pair of safety glasses. The first step in the procedure is to prepare your sample. Put a weigh boat on the scale and tear the balance. Add your sample to the weigh boat and record the mass once the balance has stabilized. The next step is to add exactly 2000.00 grams of deionized water to the dry calorimeter bucket. The best way to do this is to place the bucket on a top loading balance, tear the balance, and add the DI water slowly. When the mass of water is close to 2000 grams, you can precisely add what you need using a glass pipette. It is very important that the mass of water be within half a gram of 2000 for calculation purposes. Any deviation greater than half a gram will greatly decrease accuracy. Once the bucket has been filled with 2000 grams of water, place it inside the calorimeter. Next, place your mass sample inside the sample bucket. Cut a 10 cm long fuse wire and attach it to the metal arms as shown. Lift up the clamps, feed the wire through the holes, and lower the clamps on top of the wire. Bend the middle of the wire in a U shape so that it passes just barely over the sample. The shape of the wire and distance from the sample are very important and must be done correctly for the sample to combust. See the inlay for a schematic representation. At the end, it should look like this. Now, take the staging platform and lower it into the metal bomb. Wet the O-ring with DI water to make it slide in and out of the bomb easier. Push it in and screw the cap on tightly. When the cap is fully tightened, turn it back a little so that you'll be able to remove it after the experiment is complete. Next, close the gas release valve by tightening it fully. You are now ready to pressurize the bomb. The oxygen tank is a pressurized vessel. Ensure you are educated on the safety considerations associated with it before proceeding. Take the oxygen hose and wet the o-ring at the end with DI water to again make it easier to attach and remove. Slide the connector onto the oxygen inlet valve of the bomb and turn on the oxygen using the black knob on the pressurized tank. Monitor the pressure of the bomb with the gauge on the oxygen tank. The bomb should be pressurized to about 30 atmospheres. It is very important the pressure does not exceed 40 atmospheres. If it does, Depressurize the bomb with the gas release valve and start over. Once the bomb has been pressurized, release residual oxygen in the hose by opening the valve attached to the hose. Remove the oxygen hose connector and attach the clamps to the bomb. Transfer the bomb to the calorimeter by placing your finger in the top of the clamps. Do not squeeze the clamps together or the bomb will fall. Once the bomb is submerged in the water, remove the clamps by squeezing them together and shake any water on the clamps back into the bucket. Make sure there are no bubbles coming out of the bomb. If there are, you need to start over. Attach the ignition leads to the bomb, being sure to shake any water on your hands back into the bucket. Put the lid on the calorimeter, ensuring the stirrer is rotating freely. Then attach the stirrer to the motor and power it on. Begin to take temperature readings. Once the temperature has remained stable for three consecutive minutes, you are ready to fire the bomb. To fire the bomb, restart the timer while simultaneously depressing the ignition key for three seconds. The red light may not stay lit for the entire 3 seconds. Stand clear of the bomb for 30 seconds. Continue to take temperature readings every minute until the temperature remains constant for 3 consecutive minutes, signifying that the experiment has concluded. Power off the motor and remove the lid and ignition leads. Remove the bomb from the calorimeter. Depressurize the bomb by opening the gas release valve slowly. Allow all of the oxygen to escape the bomb. Unscrew the cap, remove the staging platform, and recover the leftover fuse wire from the experiment. This wire could be measured using a special scale and factored into the calculation for heat of combustion to account for the heat released by burning the wire. The experiment is complete and the bomb is ready for another run. To learn more about the bomb, watch the video on theory.